Today we're going after a predator called COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> It makes it, it sets it on fire once again. Um, you know, I don't want to sit there and say Onision, like the whole Antio thing, it's over. It's been over for some time. Uh, but it is interesting uh, how the mainstream media media just came into our world and utterly dropped the. I mean, just blew it, dropped the ball. Don't understand this. Don't understand why it's worked. Don't understand why their influence is gone. I mean, that's from yeah, defecated on it, uh, set it on fire, uh, urinated it's, it's on joke. the uh, ashes. This guy Onision is probably he's probably a psychopath. He's pro he's definitely a horrible person. Uh, it doesn't seem fair sometimes that he does that he seems to get away with this shit. But here's the problem: when you're really like, with my, with my word with Keemstar, you MLG ho fucking fat. I never called him a pedophile once. I didn't call him a murderer. I didn't say he committed a crime. I called him names, probably said horrible things I shouldn't have fucking said, and by and I got I got it just the way I gave it. But I never went as far to say he did something that he didn't do. And that's what this has come down to. That's what we've seen. That's what we've learned. We cannot have a group of people running around worshiping a false prophet like Chris Hansen. You can't. You can't be physically aggressive with your kids, dude. I mean, no, touching. You, no, no, no. You can't be physically aggressive with your kids. That's just. Where's the Where's the line between uh, physical aggression and physical comfort? <laughs> I already said, listen, now listen, listen, listen to what Onision says back, because I can't even find fault with his responses. He was comforting me after I called his wife a fucking bitch? What he's referring to is Onision had a fist fight with his dad. His story is this. He said, Onision's dad said, what's your fucking problem? And he says, your bitch wife. Onision's story is he pulled the car, and, this, and I would have done it too. He pulled his fucking car, parked it, and started choking the shit. He started choking the shit out of Onision, which is totally believable. If, if, if I, I, I can't imagine not doing that to my kids if they called my wife a bitch. But no, no. Stephen Arash believed uh, the Onision's uh, dad's story. He said he came to comfort him and put his hand on his shoulder. And that's when the fist fight erupted. Bullshit. I don't believe that. Like, what are you, nuts? So that's what he's saying right now. You contact the police. You say, hey. This guy might be a child predator. Do you think you could reach out to them and see if we could get this child predator justice? But instead, you're like, do you want to talk to a news article where I make money? Well, that's not how any of that works. I just can't uh, oh, go yeah. That's how it all works. I got news for y'all. That's how it works. You don't make money? You're right. non are you nonprofit? Well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay, saying so that you, yeah, you're on the job right now, stupid. Make money, and people. you're trying to reach out. Are you just going to use this chance to just yell at me? Because we can stop this. Oh, it's already done, bro. It's already <laughs> done. <laughs> what is done? I'm already. I've already said what I needed to say about you preying on child victims and trying to make a coin off them. The the irony is palpable, good sir. Is it? Is it? Mm. Tell me about this irony. No. I can't because I have no evidence against you fucking James or Greg. I can't talk about it. The irony is palpable. You have nothing on him. Nothing. I don't want any, this. Any other questions? Would you like to, to tell me more about what my child molester father had That's to say? That's a lot of money, I guess. <laughs> no, I think, I think we've covered everything. You, uh, did we, though? <laughs> did we? <laughs> I'm sure there's the more you can come up with. Oh, God. Oh, wow. You're really enjoying he's a bad this. Guy. I am, actually. Yeah, yeah, he's a bad guy. I would say the same fucking thing. I'm a bad guy, too. You fucking come at me like that, I will spend the rest of my time fucking ruining your name in this community. And I don't blame him one bit. What was your reaction uh, to the uh, Meltdown videos, if you saw them? Uh, you talking about the kombucha or whatever the fuck that was that you poured on yourself? <laughs> yeah, what did, did you, were you one of the, the people who felt those well, were authentic or did you no, see through them we, no we played them on the show i mean it was you know i, I just want to talk about these yeah everybody saw through them they just thought it was odd that you would make those kind of videos when there seemed to be a lot of pressure on you at the time none of us knew that chris hansen was 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 a false prophet no, no 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 yes they did Maybe. All of the NTOs believe those are 100% real. Blair White uploaded a whole video reacting to it as if it was a real meltdown, and she never corrected it. What's wrong with her? No, that, you're, you're wrong. A lot of people have pushed that, that that is a real breakdown. <laughs> it's a real breakdown. Donald! Real 
Well, it is kombucha. It really is kombucha. Woo! Woo! But like, it's an actual fucking breakdown. Yeah, that's that's us because we're not brain dead. But like, we're not that? the the we're the minority here, Tommy. We're still the minority even yeah. after the stream. All right, let me get a hold of myself. <laughs> That's Dude, Keen could have gotten every fucking point you asked for. Yeah. If it didn't make Greg look bad, they wouldn't have cared about it. Cared. Because nobody's in here to see Greg look decent. Nobody's in here to see mm. what I think is Greg taking a pretty definitive win here in this yeah. one. Oh, this is uh, and it's like it's not like he goes unchallenged. It's not like he's on a neutral platform that's not challenging him at all. The people call in at the end and they just sound fucking retarded, dude. Mm. Especially looking at this whole interview where he comes off as like, I don't know, uh, genuine at least. He comes off at least like he's he's answering these questions that and you go on on the reddits and on the uh the fucking other forums and they're like he's not answering any of these. Are, are you getting the fucking indication that he's not answering these questions? Yeah. These long-winded explanations. Oh, like that's not. ridiculous. They're making shit up to try to discredit this. It, it makes me question everything. everything. Because if the people are going to say this is a ridiculous interview that didn't get anywhere, that nothing came out of it, well, I don't fucking listen to anything you have to say now. Mm. Hi, I'm Chris Hansen. I know what you're going to say. And you're going to say I'm a giant pussy, big vagina with a goddamn infection. But I'm not. I'm not going to interview the little brat psycho boy because I don't want to hurt his victim's feelings. You know, does that sound like it makes any sense? Does that, does it's just, it any, he like, came out today, you know what he said? What did he say? He's doing a coronavirus stream tonight. We're going to go after the real predators. It, it goes by the name of not Onision, but Corona, coronavirus. That's really important. We have to look out for our families and children, and especially our seniors. I'm right here in New York City at the epicenter of it all, and I want you to forget that I anything to do with Onision. <laughs> there you yeah, go. I'm sorry. Uh, you there. can win this one in a YouTube drama if you want to go. I, 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 this is probably really disrespectful for some reason, but I'm mm. going to be honest with you. You probably could win this in a YouTube drama. Uh, a guy's been on the platform for 10 years. You if you want to cancel him uh, like a, with a content critique, you probably have a better fucking chance. You should probably stop talking about legality. He's been relative, relative for almost, he hasn't been really relevant for almost since 2016. Have a seat with Onisi. Here we go. Hold on a second. I can't wait. Here we go. Have a seat. Here we go. Andy Warski. <laughs> Stay back. Is this an album? Stay back. <laughs> that fucking guy that's going to jail for you is actually on the album cover. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Get fucked, Warski. You really are. Calling all victims, you oppressed. Looking for depressed chicks, minds be messed. I'm doing a live show, step in the ring. Please make me a song, Andy, please. <laughs> <laughs> Super chat money go bling 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 I gotta put it in, let's put it in the cage Please tell me fuck you when you were underage You were 18, shit that stuff, man I'm looking for victims with no pubic hair Use from that famous bitch with a dick, yo That's You know, a lot of people accuse rice gum of having a ghostwriter You know Andy Worski didn't have a ghostwriter in this song <laughs> <laughs> uh, We weren't technically allowed to have vaginal stuff But I was like Weaseling my way around it by putting my hand in front of my junk, and it was just and that's when. She Wait, was why like, were you not technically allowed to? <laughs> because to I'm a drink. I'm a very like if if you give me an inch, I will find a way to to make it work. <laughs> uh, which is just I I'm I'm a. What a horrible husband! It, like like he, like his, his, his his husband tells him you can come on her, but you can't put it in her pussy, and 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 he, and he didn't live up. To that, to that promise. <laughs> what kind of marriage is this? Yeah, oh, fuck wife, you, Tommy. This is the funniest wife, thing you've ever heard. Wife, Don't even fucking lie to if me. My wife Stop tells me, it's when hilarious. Me and, when, when me and my wife are fucking some poor 18-year-old fucking girl right out of German college over here down the street in Mines. All right. And she says, Don't fuck her pussy. I listen. <laughs> Wait, someone in the chat just wrote incriminating. What is that incriminating Never of? That he's what? an asshole? Holy what? shit, break that story. Break that story on your yeah, YouTube channel. Yeah, it's incriminating. Be so yes, surprised. no. It's incriminating. He lies to his spouse. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to jail. <laughs> he lies to his spouse. What a horrible fucking husband. What he just said is he, wait, what he just said is he like, cupped his dick.
dick and put his hand over his dick so he could like shove it in, but it wouldn't count as vaginal sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Sound him off. <laughs>